Greetings, Richmond J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, things from eBay are finally tricking, <clears throat> trickling in. I've got stuff that's been in transit for over two weeks now that has not been delivered. There's no tracking information on it, nothing. I don't know what's going on. In any case, this got here about six o'clock tonight and it's 24 degrees out, so I let it sit for hours to warm it up. I found this on eBay. It's an old 595 I picked up for eight bucks. I was the only bidder on this. So, let's see if it was worth my $8. Now, there was only one photo of this. So, I <clears throat> bought it from Motor, obviously. All right. Whoa. Well, it's packed reasonably well, it looks like. Well, there's the locomotive right there. All right, so let's see. Anyway, eight bucks, I was the only bidder on this, which was surprising. I figured somebody would buy it probably just for the shell. And it's in fair condition. I mean, it's not collector grade or anything, but it was worth eight bucks. Just the motor in it alone is worth eight bucks. All right, it's got, well, it's complete. It's got really deep grooves in the, uh, Contactor, really deep grooves. This thing has had a lot of runtime. Both of the markers are missing, but it has, well, it's got some rust on the top, nothing terrible. You could oil this and uh, touch it up. And uh, well, it's a fairly decent locomotive. Anyway, let me uh, put a couple of drops of oil on this. I'll pull the camera off the tripod and we'll see if this will run. Well, the Motor is really, really loose, really free. So it's had lots of runtime. Anyway, a big drop of oil on the output shaft bearing and a big drop of oil on the brush plate bearing. All right, let me put this on the rail and pull the camera off the tripod. Anyway, as you see, it was worth the eight bucks. And it's got some damage on top of it from rust. Not terrible, but definitely rusty. No doubt about that. But it is complete. It's really not damaged. It's had some bad storage, as you see. Anyway, this is very likely sitting upside down in a cardboard box that was damp. And the rest of it actually looks all right. There's no appreciable amount of rust on anything except there, entire, the entire top. So it's probably sitting upside down. In any case, uh, let me move the camera out of the tripod out of the way and turn on the power. All right, power is on. Let's see what happens. Wow. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, something just happened. Oh, I think it was the uh, tab and slot touching the track. Well, maybe not. Hmm, something has happened. It's uh, tripping the breaker now. Huh, now that is interesting. Huh, I just popped the breaker again. All right, well, I have to pull it apart. Obviously, it ran. Why it stopped, I have no idea. Huh. Anyway, it was worth eight bucks. I bought this just for the motor, obviously. The uh, uh, shell is in decent condition. Both the markers are broken off. And there's still a nub of it sticking up there. But there's lots of rust on the top of this, as you can see. The rest of it appears to be all right. Black push rods. Let's try this one more time. Well, it's buzzing. I have no idea what happened. Huh. That's really strange. Anyway, I'll do a follow-up video to find out what the problem is. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.